हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फिजिक्स ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर क्लास एलेवन स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस कंटिन्यू चैप्टर फोर मोशन इन ए प्लेन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट लॉज ऑफ वेक्टर एडिशन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी स्टडीड अबाउट एडिशन ऑफ टू वेक्टर्स इन दैट वी स्टडीड थ्री केसेस द फर्स्ट केस इज एडिशन ऑफ टू वेक्टर्स वेन दे आर इन द सेम डायरेक्शन when two vectors are acting in the same direction then we can consider algebraic sum of two vectors and its direction we can consider in the same direction of the two vectors because here both the vectors are in the same direction then second case is addition of two vectors when they are acting in the opposite direction if two vectors are in opposite direction then we can consider algebraic subtraction of two vectors and the direction we can consider as the same as the bigger vector or larger vector then third case addition of two vectors when they are inclined at some angle remember when two vectors are inclined at certain angle then the resultant vector we can draw from tail of the first vector to the head of the second vector that gives resultant vector so we can write r equal to or vector r equal to vector a plus vector b these three cases we studied in the previous class today we can learn about laws of vector addition yes addition of vectors in that we are going to study about geometrical method or we can also call it as laws of vector addition here we are going to study about three laws of vector addition using geometrical method so the first one is triangle law second one is polygon law and third one is parallelogram law totally there are three laws of vector addition so which are the three laws of vector addition triangle law polygon law and parallelogram law now we can study one by one so the first one is triangle law of vector addition here triangle law of vector addition states that what is the statement you can observe the statement given here yes when two vectors of the same type are represented in magnitude and direction here we are going to consider two vectors of same type same type means either we can consider two vectors as velocity or acceleration or force these two vectors should be of the same type both the vector should be uh force or that may be velocity or that may be acceleration any two vectors of the same type we can consider right two vectors of the same type are represented in magnitude and direction by two sides of a triangle taken in the certain order you can observe this picture the first vector and the second vector these two vectors are represented as the two sides of a triangle and the direction you can observe the direction of both the vectors are in the same order that may be clockwise direction or that may be anti clockwise direction two vectors of a same type represented in magnitude and direction by two sides of a triangle taken in certain order then how to find the resultant because this is addition of two vectors using triangle law here the resultant vector is represented in magnitude and direction by third side of a triangle taken in opposite direction you can observe this diagram where is the resultant vector the resultant vector we are going to take on the third side of a triangle what about direction 
always remember resultant vector direction is opposite to the direction of two vectors initially we considered anti clockwise direction you can observe first vector and second vector directions exactly they are in the anti clockwise direction but the third vector resultant vector is clockwise direction so what is the statement of a triangle law of vector addition when two vectors of same type are represented in magnitude and direction magnitude and direction how you are going to represent magnitude and direction in the diagram the length gives magnitude arrow mark gives direction is it clear so the, these two vectors are represented by two sides of a triangle taken in the same order that may be clockwise or anti clockwise that should be in the same order then the resultant vector is represented in magnitude and direction by the third side of the triangle taken in the opposite direction so this is the statement for triangle law of vector addition now to understand this statement now let us consider an example consider two vectors vector p and vector q you can observe we consider two vectors then let us add the two vectors by triangle law we are going to add these two vectors using triangle law of vector addition how to add these two vectors we know that according to the statement these two vectors are represented by the two sides of a triangle resultant vector e is taken on the third side of a triangle but in the opposite direction remember that statement now take the two vectors as sides of a triangle in certain order now i am going to consider vector p starting point of second vector q is at ending point of vector p always remember first we considered vector p this is the first vector where to draw the second vector the second vector we have to draw where at the ending point of first vector ending point of first vector means you can observe arrow mark of that vector p the ending point of vector p there we have to draw the starting point of second vector q observe here i am going to consider second vector where we drawn the second vector exactly at the ending point of the first vector p then according to the statement the resultant vector is represented as third side of the triangle now we can consider third side of a triangle where we have to draw that third side of the triangle or the resultant vector remember the resultant vector starts from starting point of a first vector and ending point of the second vector observe here i am going to draw vector r vector r is the resultant vector where we have to draw this resultant vector from starting point of first vector to the ending point of second vector that gives resultant vector so this is all about triangle law of vector addition is yes, what is the statement remember if you know this diagram remember only the diagram part using that diagram easily you can write down the statement yes now using this diagram you can try to write the statement is yes, what is the statement for triangle of vector addition when two vectors of the same type represented in both magnitude and direction by the two sides of a triangle taken in the same order then the resultant vector is represented both in magnitude and direction by the third side of a triangle taken in the opposite direction so this is all about triangle law of vector addition now we can study about polygon law of vector addition polygon law of vector addition what is the statement you can observe here the polygon law is useful to find 
the resultant of a number of vectors graphically so why we have to use this polygon law this law is useful to find resultant of number of vectors graphically if there are two vectors easily we can use a triangle law if there are more than two vectors more than three vectors if there are n number of vectors then graphically we can find the resultant of that vector using polygon law of vector addition is yes, what is the use of polygon law of vector addition this polygon law is useful to find the resultant of a number of vectors graphically then what is the statement observe the statement here yes if a number of vectors are represented in magnitude and direction by the sides of a polygon taken in order that may be clockwise or anti clockwise all the vectors we have to take in the same order then their resultant is represented in magnitude and direction by the closing side of a polygon taken in the reverse order so this statement will be very clear when you understand this diagram i am going to consider number of vectors let us consider the first vector v1 second vector v2 third vector v3 fourth vector v4 fifth vector v5 and so on now i considered five vectors or n number of vectors we are going to take these vectors as the sides of a polygon now i considered the first vector v1 we have to consider in the same direction so the second vector v2 observe this diagram third vector v3 fourth vector v4 fifth vector v5 observe this diagram and its direction totally there are five vectors represented in magnitude as well as direction by the sides of a polygon taken in the same order now it is in the anti clockwise direction all the vectors are in the same order then how to find the resultant their resultant is represented in magnitude and direction by the closing side of the polygon taken in the reverse order here vector v represents the resultant vector you can observe the direction all five vectors are in the anti clockwise direction but the resultant vector is in the clockwise direction resultant vector is represented by the closing side of a polygon taken in the opposite direction or in the reverse order right now i will explain the polygon law of vector addition here we considered v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 vector v1 vector v2 vector v3 vector v4 and vector v5 what are these these are a number of vectors of different magnitude and acting in different orientations means different direction all these vectors are having different magnitude for example the first vector may be having value 5 unit second vector is 3 unit third vector is 10 unit and so on all the vectors are having different magnitude different numerical value and the directions are acting in the different orientations these five vectors are represented in magnitude and direction by the sides of a hexagon hexagon means how much 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 sides here we are going to represent all the five vectors by the five sides of a polygon or hexagon taken in anti clockwise direction so this is all about the second law that is polygon law of vector addition either we can consider four sides or five sides or n number of sides 
but the closing side should be resultant vector and it is acting in the opposite direction. Is it clear? Yes, what is the statement for polygonal of vector addition? When we considered number of vectors represented in magnitude and direction by the sides of a polygon taken in the same order, then the resultant vector is taken on the closing side of a polygon taken in the opposite direction. So, so this is all about polygon law of vector addition. Now we can study about third one, parallelogram law of vector addition. Observe the statement. If two vectors of same type acting simultaneously at a point are represented in magnitude and direction along two adjacent sides of a parallelogram. Here we considered two vectors of same type but they are acting simultaneously at a point. They are acting at the same point that is very important here. So here we are going to consider these two vectors along the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram then what about the resultant vector? Resultant vector is represented in magnitude and direction by the diagonal drawn from the same point. Observe the diagram, it will be very clear. Observe the diagram, there are two vectors, vector P and vector Q. How they are acting? They are acting simultaneously at the same point. Vector P and vector Q are taken along the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram. Then their resultant vector is represented by the diagonal red color line you can observe. The red line gives diagonal which is resultant vector of these two vectors. Vector P, vector Q, vector R. All these three vectors are starting from the same point. Observe the diagram. From the same point, all the three vectors are drawn. Vector P, vector Q are adjacent sides and the resultant is taken along the diagonal of the parallelogram. So, this diagonal represents resultant vector of two vectors. Right? Yes, what is the statement for parallelogram law of vector addition? Just you observe the picture or the diagram, then you can easily write down the statement in your words. Yes. We considered two vectors of the same type acting simultaneously at a point represented both in magnitude and direction along two adjacent sides of a parallelogram. Then their resultant is or their resultant vector is represented along the diagonal from the same point. So these are the three laws of vector addition. Or we can also call it as a geometrical method for vector addition because we use geometrical methods like a triangle, polygon, parallelogram. So these are the geometrical methods or we can also call it as a laws of vector addition. So what are the three laws of vector addition? Triangle law of vector addition, polygon law of vector addition and the third one is parallelogram law of vector addition. In a triangle law, we considered two vectors as the two sides of a triangle. Resultant vector is represented along the third side of a triangle taken in the opposite direction. Then second one, polygon law. It states that when a number of vectors are taken as the sides of a polygon, then the resultant vector is taken as the closing side of a polygon in the reverse order or in the opposite direction. Then third one, a parallelogram law. Here, when two vectors of same type acting simultaneously at a point is taken along the adjacent sides of a parallelogram, then the resultant vector is taken along the diagonal of the parallelogram. So these are the three laws of vector addition which are very important for your board examination. And in the next session, we can derive an expression for parallelogram law of vector addition.